good morning to one and all i welcome you all for the today's session so i am uh, professor raju patel from angri engineering college so i will be dealing with uh, metal cutting and forming subject name and uh, the subject code 18me 35a bar 45a okay so why i am showing you all this syllabus copy because you will uh, know what are what are the contents of this syllabus copy okay so uh, module 1 that is introduction to metal cutting uh, in and module 2 is milling drilling shaping planing and slotting machines and grinding and module 3 will be introduction in that we will be learning about the tool wear uh, mechanisms and tool life okay and precautions to um, uh, uh, the precautions for the tool how to use the tool etc okay and in fourth model they will be using mechanical working of metals and in the fifth model we will be learning about the sheet metal drawing trimming and sharing all that okay next will be um, starting with the first model that is okay first model we are going to start that is um, introduction to metal cutting in introduction to metal cutting first of all we will go to basics of the introduction to basic metal cutting machine tools why i am taking part b in first module because those are the basics if you understand those basics then only you will understand other things okay so here uh, you all are seeing the figure of lathe okay so in that lathe what is lathe so lathe is a machine lathe is a machine which removes the metal from the work pieces to read the required shape and size okay and lathe is to remove excess material uh, in the form of chips by rotating the workpiece against the stationary cutting tool okay you are getting what I am telling. So in that you all can see that this uh, there are types of lathes. Types of lathes: engine lathe, bench lathe, tool room lathe, speed lathe, capstan turret lathe, and automatic lathe. What is engine lathe? First of all, we'll discuss about engine lathe. Or engine lathe is also called as a center lathe and why it is called engine lathe and center lathe first of all we'll discuss and afterwards we'll be discussing about this um, lay the whole components of the lathe okay so the, this is the engine lathe this is the simplest among lathes with all basic features this is termed as engine lathe since it is since it is engine driven okay and it is uh, named as a center lathe uh, since the job to be machined is held between two centers that is live center and dead center we will be discussing about that live center and dead center later on uh, first of all we will go ahead with uh, engine lathe what are the parts uh, components of the engine lathe okay components of the engine lathe you all can see here uh, bed is uh, a bed headstock tailstock in the figure itself you all can see bed heads in this bed head stock spindle uh, feed exchange compound rest uh, spindle guide tool post cross slide dead center tail stock wheel tail stock um, tail stock and this all are the important feed row, rod lead square apron carriage bed all this will be discussing okay so what is uh, bed bed is an u shaped bed is an u shaped strong box section mounted on support columns and carries all the working parts of a lathe headstock and anvil headstock and um, headstock and tailstock are located at the on the left end and right end of the lathe bed Carriage with the cross slide and tool post slides over the bed between the headstock and tailstock. Okay, you are getting what I am telling. So, second one that is will be dealing with headstock. What is 
head stock you all can see in the sketch what is this is the this portion is a head stock okay what is head stock head stock drive which drives motion for a job which is uh, for a drive motion for, uh, for a job provided by the provided by the head stock okay through head stock spindle through head stock spindle you all can see this head stock spindle this this is a head stock and this is the spindle with this drive motion will be provided to the job through this spindle okay head stock houses entire the drive, driving mechanism with the cone pulley back gear mechanism changes gears for a screw cutting operations okay next we will be dealing with tail stock you all can see this this portion is tail stock okay huh? this portion this is the center and the front of that that is a tail stock okay tail stock way in which you all can see the tool also here okay huh? tail stock is located at the right end of the bed and provides support for rotating job tail stock can slide along the bed on its guide ways to support the job at required distance and next we'll be going with carriage so this is the carriage this this whole square you all can see this carriage which can be moved as per the requirement of the job okay carriage of lathe provides tool support cutting feeding and screw cutting actions it moves parallel to lathe center axis supporting many sub parts to carry out such as saddle cross slide tool post compound rest apron etc okay saddle saddle it is an you all can see this saddle over here just a minute i'll show you all saddle it is an h or u shaped rigid casting sliding over the bed guide ways okay uh, bed guide ways at this portion where the guide ways are there there is, there is a saddle over here okay next cross slide it is fitted at the top of the saddle supports to the compound rest supports to the compound rest you all can see this compound rest over here and saddle is do that okay uh, uh, compound it is mounted compound rest what is compound rest it is mounted on the top of the cross slide it has a circular base it has a circular base uh, it has a circular base graduate graduated in degrees which is useful in obtaining tapers and angular cuts okay and next one will be discussing about the apron this is the this whole portion is apron you all can see this this is apron okay what is apron apron is fitted to the saddle hags in front of the in front of the bed it is incorporates that hard steel hand wheel for moving saddle longitudinal longitudinally along lathe axis gears and lever arrangement to engage and disengage auto feed and thread cutting mechanisms next tool post tool post you all can see at the top this is the tool post this is the tool post okay hmm? this is the tool post this is a this is mounted on cross slide and holds tool rigidly depending upon the need and design tool post vary in size and construction feed rod feed rod you all can see here below feed rod this is the feed rod below this uh, gear uh, shaft is there no that below that there is a lead screw that is not a this is a curved, curved designed shaft that is a lead screw below that there is a uh, feed rod okay you all can see this feed rod okay feed rod trans uh, feed rod provides strong longitudinal and cross feed to the job it is long steel shaft with a key way and supported at its end feed rod transmits power from head stock gears to carriage apron mechanism with the help of gears 
and next we will be discussing about the lead screw lead screw what is lead screw this is the lead screw which is uh, designed as a gears you all can see that lead screw what is lead screw lead screw it is a long steel square threaded shaft and operates exclusively for thread cutting it acts as a master screw to move the carriers to perform thread cutting operations okay so with this we end today's session thank you for today's session if you have any doubts you can uh, discuss with me okay thank you